It's still Saturday, September 8th, and now we're going to take off the reed valve assembly. Right here, we got to take the cover off first. It's kind of an odd place to get it off because you can't get a lot of leverage on a screwdriver. You could try to use the impact that we used before, the, uh, the screw impact, but what I found best to use in this situation is uh, this little gizmo right here. Uh, I've had it for about 15 years. Here's a flathead, a Phillips. It did originally come with two Phillips, but this thing gets so much leverage on it, and it's actually made by Blue Point, which is Snap-on. Again, most of my tools are not Harbor Freight. I've just done some Harbor Freight reviews. 99% of them are Craftsman or, or Snap-on. Most of the Craftsman. So this works as a ratchet. So a lot of leverage. Flip it over. Then you go the other way. So to loosen it, just push down on it. You got a lot of leverage. And we could just crank away. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see if you can. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's the best way I've found on this particular setup to, to get it because there's those are in there pretty good and after you initially get them loosened they're fine but to get them off there. We're going to go ahead and get these four screws out of this and then we'll be back. We'll take this off, inspect the reed, we'll probably just replace it no matter what. So I have a new one and it was you know, like 10 bucks and we'll put new gaskets on there while we're doing this so we will be back shortly and uh, we'll continue on okay we've got all four of those screws out we'll go ahead and lift this off we'll leave it connected to the hose and then hopefully a little finesse we'll be able to get the valve assembly out that's eh, just like the other one a little difficult we'll uh, get a screwdriver here And these gaskets, I don't really care if I, there we go, destroy them because I have new ones. There we are. And as expected, it, it looks good. But like I said, while we're in here, we'll go ahead and replace that. Get these old gaskets off. Put new ones on. Hopefully we can get those off in a clean sweep there. Yeah. I have to get a razor blade and clean that up a little bit. We'll go ahead and we'll go to the bench and then we'll replace this little reed valve. Again, it looks, doesn't need replaced, but we're just going to go ahead and do it. Stay tuned. We're back. We've got all the gas get uh, cleaned off here. So now we're going to go ahead and change this little reed valve. Just three screws right here. Take those three screws out. Like I said, this is not necessary, but might as well do it now so we don't have to worry about it later. And chances are we'll probably never have to worry about it, but you never know. And the most important thing is you don't really want to bend these. This is pretty thick here. No worries on bending that, the actual reed valves themselves. This old one looks pretty much brand new, so clean that off a little bit. That's fine. We'll go ahead and position it into place. Get one screw kind of started there. There we go. And there's no right or wrong way on these. Uh, it goes, no way to really put it upside down or anything. So, go ahead and tighten those back up. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Pretty snug. 
to begin with. There we go. Then we'll put a new gasket on. We've got one that goes here, which connects to the carb. And the other one goes on this side, which connects to the motor. And I've already cleaned off the side of uh, the motor side as well. Go ahead and put that one on. There you go. And we'll go back to the bike and uh, reinstall this. Okay, we're back to the bike. Here you go. There's only one way this goes in. If you try to put it in upside down, it will not work. It won't go in there actually. Let's go ahead and install that. There's our other gasket. We can start off by putting one of the screws in. Get it all lined up here. Probably would have been easier if I would have put the screws in first. There we go. Got one started there. And we'll get one started on the other side. And then we'll go ahead and put the two bottom ones in. I'm going to go ahead and put these in, and then we'll put the carb on, and then we'll be done with this uh, video here. Should I spread that a little bit? So go ahead and tighten these up, and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, time to put the carb back on. It's just the exact reversal. Just go ahead and put that on. Snug it in there. Put your needle on, or in rather. It only goes one way. Screw that down. And then uh, that's about it. Now, the only thing really left to do on this side is to put that. Uh, the cover back on the air cover and the in the elbow we're not going to do that yet because i got some other things to do on the bike but uh that's going to do it for this one just a couple quick videos there and uh next one we'll probably uh, do a little bit of little restoration items uh go ahead and get it put back together get the exhaust put on i don't want to put that back on yet and then uh we'll probably try to start it after that and then uh Really, the only thing left, a little bit of cleanup, reflectors, and we got to do the front forks. We got to put new seals in those. So, that should be interesting. So, only going to be a few videos on this, and then uh, we'll be started on the cafe, which I cannot wait to start on. So, that'll do it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Please subscribe, and uh, as always, thanks for watching.